Hi guys, I am so excited today. I have waited 18 months to bring you this content and it's now April and I hope these showers aren't gonna spoil it today where I'm looking at my first van. I need some inspiration on my van. I don't know what to do with certain bits of it. So how can I find out? Well, I can have a look at your vans. So I am bringing you a feature where I'm going out and I'm gonna be looking at other people's vans combi vans, camper vans, classic vans, performance vans, seeing what you've done, what features you've brought to yours, what gadgets you're using. I want to know, I want to see what you've got. So if you want to see that, if you need some inspiration yourself, then why not subscribe? Or if you just fancy being nosy, why not? Lots and lots of vans already planned, can't wait to bring them to you. So let's get on and have a look at our first van. Hi Phil, so thanks for uh, bringing me your van today. So what is it? What have you got? Yeah, hi Steve, you're alright. So uh, here we've got our VW T6. Uh, it's a combi Highline base van. Uh, we got it, uh, we picked it up uh, beginning of last year in January. We've been looking for one for quite a while and uh, we stumbled across this one which was quite local to us down in Cornwall. Um, nice. And so what, what engine is it? It's a, uh, it's a 2 litre, 102 brake horsepower. And year? A uh, year is 2017, so 17 plate. Excellent. And how long have you had it? Had it uh, in about 18 months now. So you said it was a combi when you got it, and yeah. it's now been converted? That's right, yeah. We had it converted uh, sort of summer last year. You do it yourself? No, no, we had... Oh, uh, <laughs> you spoiled the fun! <laughs> yes, yeah, no, we, we chickened out of that and uh, paid a professional to do it for us. Nah, so, who uh, did that for you? Called SC Conversions. Okay. So him and his uh, team did a, did a great job and uh, it came recommended to us and we're really pleased with the end result so fantastic yeah. and i can see from the outside you've had some exterior mods done so if you want to have a, a chat about those first yeah what, what have you got what have you had done here so this was the, the externally we've uh, other than the conversion it was all like this when we got it so the previous owner had the uh, sportline kit put on it so the the sportline wheels uh the uh the, the bars on the on the bottom there uh the spoiler and then the, the uh at the, at the rear uh, and then you had the front spoiler put on as well. Excellent. So it, it came, it came like that when we uh, when we got it. Good. And so you've got a Fiamma F45S on in. Yes. Is that something you added on in the conversion? Yeah, part of the conversion we had that added on, and brilliant. It was a, it's a real godsend when those sort of hot days, just to be able to wind it out and have a bit of a shelter. So. Uh, yeah. Good stuff. Yeah, I do like those wheels. It's the same wheels as you can see I've got on mine, although yours are the the gloss finish and they uh, look like the diamond cut yours. Yeah, just on the outside edge, so... Uh, Got to be careful with curbs then. Yeah, definitely. I, I don't know how long they'll stay like that, so uh, they'll probably have to be recut <laughs> at some point, I guess. So yeah, we had the conversion uh, done. Uh, in addition to that, we had a, the tow bar fitted at the rear, um, for, sort of for the bike racks and towing a trailer when we go camping with all the, all the paraphernalia shoved in, into the trailer. Um, and I think probably externally, that's, that's it really. Excellent, so uh, should we take a look inside? Yeah, why not? What have we got in here then? Yeah, we'll see. So we've got um, all the units down the side here, sort of the traditional um, layout that you get in most, uh, most sort of conversions. Um, we've, uh, we've got uh, underneath, uh, in that cubby hole there, we've got, a, uh, we've got our, uh, our porta potty Lovely. in there. And that was our key, one of our key specifications really when we had it built um, was that we wanted to be able to get uh, a porta potty either under the bed or into one of the cupboards. Um, uh, and so they managed to, to achieve that for us, which was great. Uh, we've got a Dometic um, hob and, uh, and sink um, with running cold water. Uh, got a, a 12 volt fridge. Um, we've got all the sort of standard electrics sort of the, for the lights. Uh, sort of 12 volt um, uh, sort of power uh, off the leisure battery and then uh, the ability to do obviously the electric hookup um, if the camps actually go to have got that. Uh, diesel heater? Yeah diesel heater as well we had one of those fitted for the not so warmer weathers. So. Absolutely a must for the uh, winter weather which we certainly get here. Yeah definitely. And is that a safe under seat safe? Yes so an under seat safe and, and that uh, the passenger seat uh, swivels um, and the driver's seat has been designed so that it, it can be fitted to swivel uh, if we want it to at a later date. So the other units sort of slightly set back. No, you um, can certainly do that yourself. If you've seen my videos, you'll I see have, how I've yes, done it. I have, yeah, definitely. And a pop top, the all important pop top when you've got a family. Yes, 
So here we went for the uh, all stops uh, pop top roof, which was recommended to us uh, by the by uh, Simon and his team up at SE Conversions. Uh, and um, yeah, no no regrets there. Great great roof. You know, sort of does does the job, does what it's supposed to do. Um, and the benefit is, is that it comes with uh, a five year uh, warranty, which I think is probably a market leading. I've not seen any other. Um, pop top roof manufacturers that do anything that sort of gives you that that sort of peace of mind really they've got the bed fitted as well so the kids can can sleep um, up above so you've had it for a year got it converted where have you been so not too far away in the van we were um, we've been to woodlands up the road um, for uh, about three nights with the, with the kids um, uh, that was great fun um, just a sort of short break uh, and then towards the end of last year, we did just myself and my wife got away to um, uh, uh, Eden. Um, oh, the Eden Project. Eden Project, yeah. There was um, the script was playing down there. Ah. So we went down there for the night and stayed in a local campsite. So, ideal, uh, and you can yeah. just take your vehicle down rather than having to pay 150 odd quid for a hotel. It's yeah. ideal, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Did you get any other trips planned? Any big trips? Um, we were hoping to perhaps do the North Coast 500 up around Lovely. Scotland. So uh, we were hoping to do that early this year, um, but that didn't happen for, for various reasons, but maybe towards the end of the year or early next year, try and sort of avoid the, the midgy season, I think. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. You'd see some of the photos up there and it's, it's like you're in a different country. Although, lucky enough, we're on the border of Cornwall down here and it's exactly the same, isn't it? You know, yeah. you take some pictures of some of the beaches down here and you think that you could well be in Barbados or something. Yeah, definitely on a summer's day, you wouldn't want to be anywhere else. No, um, absolutely not. So perfect vehicle for it. So you family, obviously, as you said, you've got the children. So ever have any problems with space or anything like that? Is it easy enough to carry everything? Yeah, no, easy enough to carry everything. This seat um, slides forward. Um, so you get a sort of slightly bigger boot. Um, and so when the when, when we've got the sort of the say everything in tow, um, yeah, we can move the seat forward to about 30, 30 odd centimetres. And it doesn't sound much, but it gives you quite a bit of storage yeah. in the back. And the part of the seat folds down as like a, acts as like a big, big parcel shelf so uh, it's surprising what you can get in really what's your favorite gadget favorite gadget i think has probably got to be the diesel heater yeah 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 definitely it's it's a, i think in this country it's a must uh, even sort of the intention for us was to use it to get away uh, uh and, and use it to camp in but also to use it as a sort of day van at the beach yeah. and in the winter sort of be able to go sort of to one of the local beaches and spend the afternoon there um, so we can go off for a walk with the dogs and come back and uh, you know, sort of the van's nice and warm and toasty. So any, any future additions, any future plans which you're going to do to the van? Uh, the only thing I might do is um, replace the stereo um, for a, a, a sort of a aftermarket head unit. Um, we've had speakers fitted in the, in the back as part of the conversion, um, which um, the, the, the existing head unit can't take the, the, those speakers. So um, yeah, might upgrade to a, 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 a new, uh, new sort of sound system. Alpine F115D, I've fantastic seen, unit. I've seen Have a look it. at my video. I've seen it. Brilliant unit. I'll show you that in a minute. Oh, it's fantastic. Yeah, absolutely no regrets with that. Changes the sound incredibly. It really does. But anything over the standard unit, um, speaking to lots of different um, audio specialists when I was looking at buying mine, they were saying that anything that the Kenwoods, the Pioneers, the, the Alpines, they're all going to be a big difference in sound quality over that unit. And you've got dogs. Yes. You got dogs? Yes, two dogs. We've got a Labrador and a miniature Dash Ah, so how do you cater for them in the van? So normally um, we've got a, a bed that the, the Labrador sits on, sort of on in the entrance here. Um, and then we've got a sort of small mini, miniature cage that slides down between the seats um, for, for the miniature Dash Hound Dotty to go in. Yeah, that works well. So cooking in the vehicle, you've obviously got the uh, Dometic burner. Do you cook in the van? Uh, we've done a, a couple of meals, yeah, we've actually, when we went to Woodlands, we did actually sausage, mash and beans. So uh, 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 the, the, um, the sausages were cooked on our Kadak barbecue outside, uh, but then we boiled the potatoes on the, on the stove inside and, uh, and heat the beans up. And yeah, managed to be able to cook ourselves a uh, sausage, mash and beans. So, uh, Lovely. Any yeah. uh, Kadak recipes you can pass my way? Got any specialities you make? I don't know, just sausages and burgers, oh, really. Just a, and yeah, burgers. just typical barbecue stuff, really. <laughs> so if you were to tell me of something I must buy, have you got anything, any advices? What should I buy? Um, yeah, there is one little recommend I would, uh, would, would put forward, um, which was something we've bought recently, and it's one of these. 
Ah, the ridge the, monkey. The, the ridge monkey, yeah, yeah. Not something I've got, but I've certainly heard a lot about them. So what, what do you use that for? So we, it acts like a little mini oven um, and you can cook. It's really sort of, um, uh, it's really flexible on what you can, what you can cook on it. And so far we've just done sort of uh, cheese toasties or um, a sort of paninis we've made up and, uh, and put on the grill. Um, uh, and it's been fantastic. It's, uh, you know, it takes a couple of minutes um, and you've got yourself a sort of a, a hot, uh, hot snack basically. Um, yeah. There's say there's loads of recipes online and people go and sort of cook all day breakfasts and all sorts in them. Um, but yeah, we've just done the sort of the, the, the hot hot snacks and uh, but yeah, great bit of kit and would definitely recommend it. Brilliant. Yeah, I've certainly seen and heard of quite a lot about them. And yeah, it is something actually on the list, but I've not bought yet. So yeah, ah, I shall uh, have a further look into that. Yeah, find your way to Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Right. Well, thanks for your time. I really do appreciate it. It's. Uh, given me some ideas of what to look out for some things which I could potentially plan for mine like the pop top I do like your pop top and I know I've just installed the halo roof but just that bit more freedom isn't it that ability to be able to stand up even if you're not sleeping in it just you can stand up and do more things in it so yeah thank you very much for your time I appreciate that no worries thank you cool so thanks guys, uh, thanks for watching. Please do stay tuned if you wanna see more. I have got lots more things planned, lots of different var variations of vans. So if you do like it, please give it a like. If you want me to come and have a look at your van, as I say, drop a comment below. Take care, I shall see you soon. Thanks for watching.